using workflows, you can you can automate anything in your farm. It depends on like what you want to automate. You can create your own notification system. You can create tasks. You can create follow-up system like interaction management, where the system will automatically send emails or send text messages to your clients. And you can even have a delay. So we are working on a delay as well. So we'll be able to add a delay. You can add tasks here. And you know, like the task will automatically create is you know, like it can have like a cascading effect as well. Like a one task can be linked to another task. So only thing you have to do is you have to add some triggers. So we will create a new workflow now. We'll say like contact us. We'll select a trigger. Your trigger can be anything. Your trigger can be like matter created, matter updated, matter moved to a stage, lead created, lead updated, lead moved to a stage, client created, task created, intake form submitted, and even the user activated. So there are scenarios where you like you can't you know, like like premeditate like you know, like that will happen, right? There are certain scenarios which are not very you know, like not they don't happen like always. So what you can do is for those scenarios, you can create like a user activated like workflow. So you will go to the matter and then you can apply that workflow manually. So first example I want to show you is you see like we just created that form here, contact us form. Our contact us form looks like this. So we'll go to automation intake forms and I will show you the contact us, this one here, contact us webinar. So what we want to do is you know, like whenever they submit this first name and last name and email, we want to create a lead. And you can skip the lead, you can directly create a matter, you know, like if you don't want to deal with the CRM thing, but if you want to create a lead, you want to create a CRM, and then you want to like, you know, track like how many leads came in, like how many potential clients came in and how many were converted. So it will show up like this, like on the dashboard. Like you can track like how many leads came, how many were converted, what is your rate, how much you are spending on those, your leads look like this. So for our example, we are going to create a lead now from like whenever that form is submitted, we'll create a lead. So we'll go to automation now, we'll say new, we'll say new lead from webinar, We'll select a trigger. Our select a trigger would be intake form submitted. Now we'll select an intake form. So now we have, so contact us webinar, and I think I didn't update this, so I have to update this. And I will select again everything, intake form submitted. Now you see like it shows me contact us webinar. We'll rename it, we'll name again lead will continue. So the very first thing you want to do here is you may want to create a contact, you may want to create a matter, you may want to create a lead. So depending on your scenario, you can create any of these, you just have to map them. So for us, I'm going to create a lead today. I will say create lead, I will do next. So these are my fields which are on my lead, like first name, last name. So what we want to do is, you know, like we want to map these form fields like first name, last name from a form to uh, my new lead form. So I'm going to do is, I'm going to click here. I will say first name from a trigger. Again, I will do the same step. I will say last name from a trigger. You can add email, you can add addresses if you want. We will not do that. Now you have to select a pipeline where you want to create it. We want to create on a lead intake which stage you want to create. So you can create on prospect, you can create your own stages, and then you can even map this to your like your custom fields. So for the demo purposes, we are not going to do that. We, you may want to select like who's originating attorney, you can select it if you want. So I will say continue plus new action. So now, you know, like you may want to send a automated text message to a client, right? Like we received the message from you and we'll select like you want to send to a client. You can even send it to yourself that new lead is submitted and take an action. So we'll say from, we want to select to a client. So most of times whenever you select this, you will select custom and you will select lead value from step two. So we'll select this here. 
if you so here we'll say dear we received your request and we'll get back to you so you can write this here sorry for my spellings here and <clears throat> You can even customize this. So by customization, I mean, you can add merge fields here as well. So you can click here, you will say lead value. You will say like dear first name and this. So for example, after this, you may want to send you like a follow up, like in this, in this text message, you may want to send like a follow -up form to them, like fill this form. Like after they, they send this request to you, you can do that as well. So you will select here. You will say, I want to send an intake form to them. So you will say, create document, create intake form, matter ID, lead ID, and intake form. So H1B checks list. So now we can go here and we'll say, please fill the form. And here you will say generate intake form from link. So this will create an intake form link and will send them like a text message for that. You can do the same thing on the email as well. You can even create a document automatically and embed that into the email. I will show you that as well. But before that, I want to show you the logic, okay? So I'm going to copy this. So here you can add a conditional logic. You see like the question we had was preferred contact method. So if client selects text, you may want to send a text message to a client. If they select a phone, you may want your like employee, your, your staff to call them. If they select email, you may want to send an email to them. So I'll show you like how you can do that, how you can code it. So here what you will do is you will click on this. You will add one more logic here. And you will say like, I want to add a conditional logic, logic condition. You see, I added a logic condition now. So my logic condition would be, so I will add condition for the first branch. I will say preferred contact method. When preferred contact method is text, I want to send them a text here. When they select, so for branch B, for this branch, branch B will add a condition here and we'll say when preferred contact method is email. So we want to send an email here. And because now we want to add one more branch because you know, like we have like phone as well. So we'll say add one more branch. So system add, you can add any number of branches. The only thing you know, like you have to make it smaller or you know, like it will go, it will have like a scroll bar here. So now I will add one more. I will add a condition. I will say preferred contact method is phone. So, so now we'll do that. So we'll go here. We'll say like we want to create an email here. Send email. And here we will create a task. So we'll say task one. We'll put a name here. So we'll say call the client. And you can set a due date of this. For example, you want this task to be done the same day, or you may want to do it like one day after this was applied. So I will say one day after the creation date, done. I will assign to one of my employees or I will assign directly. So you can either customize it based on the originating attorney or responsible attorney or referred by. You can even send an email to referred by as well, like the person who referred it. Like if you want to send them like a like a thank you email. We don't have it like in, in this example, but you can do that. You can work on it. Assign user, you can do Harsimran Singh. I will assign Harsimran. I will add one more task here. I will say I want to create another task, follow up task. So I will say add task, get documents. So I will again do the same step, lead value from a lead. I will say get documents. So get documents would be like, would be based on this task, right? If they are not able to call them, they will not be able to do that, right? So if the due date of this task changes, like they are not able to reach out, this will automatically change. So we'll put a due date of this and we'll make it on based on the first task, like call the client. 
So this will be only, it will be three days after my first task. So good thing about this, this thing is you know, like what I'm doing here is I'm putting a task dependency. So my task two is based on task one. So if the due date of this changes, it will automatically change. So this is very helpful. You know, like you can make it, you know, like you can have like, for example, a code date changes, it can trigger all the tasks based on it. So now I will assign a user. Again, I will say her Simran. So this thing helps you with is you know, like you can add any number of tasks. You can do anything. For example, if you are on a litigation case, I will show you like how you can do that. So you can tell your teammates what they have to do on different phases of a, of a case. So we are going to save this now on the send email. You may want to send more information on email, right? You may want to put here and then you can add merge fields here. You can say lead value name and then you can add data here and then best regards. You can select like whose email it should go, like whose teammate. For example, if you have like a common email, you can send it from your common email. You can, all these emails which will go out from the system will be like, will go from your own email. And you can add your, you know, like you can add, a, you know, like add your signature and your client will never know you know, like these are coming from a, from a bot. You can select the recipients here. So your recipient can be like a client, will be a client in this case. So this is how it's going to work. You see, like I have this here, like attached document from a previous template, previous step. So what you can do is you can create a template for engagement letter, and then you can attach that engagement letter on this email. So I will do for, for our demo purposes, we don't have a, we didn't create the engagement letter. So I'm going to say, create a document. I'm going to select the template which we created. So I will say, I want to use dynamic merge field template. And now I will do is like, I will say attach document from the previous template. So document from step three. So what I'm doing here is you know, like you can create your document, your engagement letters on the fly. You can send it to client and attach it. You can even attach your, your invoices as well. For example, you know, like if you charge the client for, for a fee, like for, for initial consultation fee, you can create invoice in this step. So how you do it, you will click here. You will say create invoice. You can create invoice, and then you can link it here on the email as well as on the on the SMS. So you will say invoice here, and I will go here. Please pay the invoice before our meeting. System will automatically create the invoice for you. Here you will set like how you want to do it. I think it was here. So I didn't add it like flat fees because we are running out of time. So you can add like how much you want to charge. So normally you will do a flat fees. You can add a description and a date. And again, date can be based on the, the, the date, which like on the, on the trigger date. So now you can embed this here. So you will say like this and you can add like this. So you will say generate intake form link. No, okay, invoice data from here. So you will say invoice link. And you can even put the number invoice number here like this invoice number and we'll say invoice number so you can customize these emails you know, like so if you do this once you know, like it will automatically trigger when whenever that in intake form is submitted you can create more form, like more workflows like this more complex workflows i will show you a few so i'll open the ones which i already have so I will go to automation and here you like, I have a lot of intake forms. I have complex intake forms like this. So like a spouse, so we get like a quick Google client information. We get their information, we get spouse information. It will automatically create a related contact on a method. We are asking how many children they have and based on their answer, you know, like we are showing the information based on that. Intake forms, you can like, you can create workflows like these so for example, I have this one here. You see what I'm doing here? I'm creating some task. I'm creating some SMS. I'm creating a document. I'm sending it to a client. Other ones I have is I will show you here. I think this one. So you see like I'm creating a lot of tasks. So how you will create these, these workflows too, right? So 
we what we have is you know, like we have a, like a kanban view so you can select i'm showing you a dark mode you can select like a dark mode or a light mode and you can create a pipeline of these tasks so of your matters so pipeline view is you know, like it gives you like a like a overview of all your matters and especially with this covid 19 thing you know, like if you are working with a bigger team or you are working with associates the problem is you know, like everyone is working from home you don't have a visibility of your cases you don't have a visibility of your of your of the task so the pipeline view gives you that and it also gives you to automate your workflows so what you can do is whenever a case moves to pleading and motions there are normally you know, like there are certain things you want to do in that normally you know, like your tasks are almost same your documents are almost same so you can automate it so what we are going to do is we are going to create a you know we are going to create a workflow whenever a case goes to pleading and motions so i will go back to my another account and we just have 4 minutes left before we take questions so i will go here go to automation i will say create new one so now we are going to select new matter move to a stage we'll select like which litigation pipeline and pleading and motions so i will quickly show you like how this will work so we'll add the task you have to do we'll say task 1 and we'll say we'll add a due date here 3 days from today new action we'll say we want to create another task and now we are going to link task 1 with the task 2 so we'll say task 2 days after our task 1 and we'll assign to a person here originating attorney here i didn't select it correctly so i'm going to select task 1 done and new action you may want to create a event like whenever like it goes to the next one next phase add a event so we'll say abc and we'll select matter id matter value from a trigger so this is similar step if you want client and you want you want to add more participants here you can select originating attorney we we'll select a date here so two days done and again two days done you can add start time or end time i'm not going to do it here the last thing you may want to send a text message you may want to send an email right so i'm going to send an email to show you guys from teammate from my i think my account here is i think this one harshrohi and i will say to client subject abc test dear and will attach a document so we didn't had it so what we are going to say is you know, like we want to create a document here okay so we'll say we want to automatically create a document and we'll select matter id select document template new action so there is no new action we are here so we are going to use this document on step 6 so i think this should be good you can send a text message as well so i will say sample workflow so we are going to save it and let me check again i did it on litigation and pleading and motions so we'll go to our matter view so pleading and motions is here litigation is here so i'm going to open this and see like if i have like correct information here i will see so it goes to this email here i don't know whose email is this so and so what we are going to do is we are going to drag and drop this and this how is going to look and see there are some tasks so i am going to mark all those tasks as complete so now we don't have any task on the calendar we have one meeting but that's from the past and the document will show up here okay so now we'll go to matters we'll drag and drop this to the pleading and motions give it a minute not a minute only like few seconds we'll open it up now and let's refresh it 
So you see like the system automatically generated this document for me, dynamic merge fields, 911. It sent an email, I will show you on my email, like in the sent folder, like it tried to send an email, but the email got bounced. On the tasks, it created those two tasks, task one and task two. And I will show you like this magic here. So if I change the due date of this one, task one, the due date of task two will automatically change. So I will click here. I will say I want it to be October 2nd. So now I'm going to update it. You see the moment I updated this, it updated it automatically. On the calendar, you see it created this one here, ABC, that's what we created. I'll open my email and I will show you like how the email went out. So we'll go back to info section and it shows the email here. You see at the bottom, it shows workflow bot, dear and outbound email. So you know like the email went out. So I will show you like this shows up in your email as well. So I will go here on my email, like on another screen and so you see like the system tried to send an email to this email. Janice, and so I just put a dear and see this thing here. So you remember like we attached the document there because there was no information here. So it didn't add it anything there, but it created a document for me. So if you have like right information, you can use this to automatically create these documents, embed these in the email and automatically send to a client. It depends on how you want to do it. it totally depends on you like how you create these workflows. You can do almost everything and there are a lot of things which we are going to add in future. We have a long list of these automation features from our clients and we are going to make it more robust. It is very robust right now. So you can, you can create anything using these workflows. So, and it was, you see like this email goes from your own email. So if I go to my sent email, it will show there as well. I will show you that and your clients will never know you like like a bot is sending these emails so now you see like i'm this is on i'm on send folder and shows my in my send folder as well you can always reach out to sport at lockers you can directly reach me at heavy at lockers thank you very much